And up next, let's talk about another important hook called use effect. And we're going to start just like the other examples. Basically, in the app JSX, we want to navigate this time to zero to use effect. We're looking for the starter, and we're going to go with code example. And just like with use state, the first thing we're going to do is to understand why do we need a use effect in the first place. And in order to do that, basically, we'll take a look how the code inside of the component runs. So let's navigate to that file. You should see on the screen something like this, value equals to zero and a button. So let me navigate over here. And this shouldn't look too foreign. So we have over here use state, we import that, we set up the value, set value, use state. And then of course, I have JSX. And what do you know, I'm updating the value. And again, the gotcha is not over here. Now let's talk about how the code runs inside of the component. So let's say, if I set up a function, and I'm going to call this say hello, so const say, and hello, so that is equal to my function. And inside of the function, what do you know, I just simply want to set up some console log. I want to go with log and hello there. A million dollar question. Again, we're doing the quiz. Yes, you got that right. So previous time we went for $10,000 question, why don't we go for a million this time? So million dollar question. If I have a function over here, and if I invoke it, and as a side note, yes, the function declaration can be somewhere else. For example, it can be in different file or it can be above the component. My question is, if I invoke this function inside of the component, how often do you think it's going to run? And possible choices. We have initial render, basically when the component mounts, like so. So once I refresh, only then the function is going to execute. So then I have after every render, and as I note, you can already kind of see that it's definitely happening when the component mounts. Then we have after every render. And then we have, I don't know, randomly after every third render. And if you guessed that it's actually happening after every render, you are absolutely correct. Basically the initial render, which again happens when the component mounts. In this case, when we load the application, let's say when we refresh the browser and all that, and also every time we re-render, because what are we doing over here? Remember with use state, every time we'll change the value, we will re-render, correct? So let's try this one out. Notice I start clicking. And what do you know? In the console, I have a bunch of hello there's. Now, it's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just a fact. That's how it works. If you have some kind of function here that is being invoked, and for example, this declaration, yes, it's going to be set up pretty much from scratch every time. So every time we'll re-render, React is going to create this function. And also, if you invoke the function, it will run the code. Now, when do we need to be careful? Well, when we update the state. Why? Because we can trigger infinite loop. So let me showcase that. I'm going to add comment here. So be careful. You will have infinite loop. Now, how can we have infinite loop if we update the state value inside of this function? So let's go over here with set value, and then I'm going to go with value plus one. And before we run it, let's discuss why we're going to have the infinite loop. Well, let's think about it. So we have initial render. This is where we set up the state value. And also we set up the function and we invoke it. Now, inside of the function, what do we do? We trigger re-render, correct? We go with value plus one. So when we re-render, again, we do the same thing. We create a state value and we set up the function. Inside of the function, we do what? We update the state value. And hopefully you see where I'm going with this. 
So hopefully this is clear. And uh, now let me just save the file and you'll right away see a bunch of errors in console. So again, just be careful. Yes, there are gonna be times when you will set up a function here. Actually, by the end of the section, I'll share a resource where you'll see that React is somewhat pushing for it instead of using a bunch of use effects to use functions like this. But again, there are nuances. We need to be mindful when we set up such functions. There's nothing wrong with setting them up. The gotcha is you don't wanna update the state in such a fashion because yes, you will have an infinite loop. And that's why in the next video, we'll cover use effect and how use effect helps us to run code conditionally in our application. Basically, we'll be able to choose when do we want to run certain code inside of our component.